Well hello everyone and welcome to our midweek message filmed this morning from the church porch. Um, good to be back here. I'm aware that it's probably been quite a while since many of you will have been to the church building and um, if you're like me you're going to be missing it. It's such a shame isn't it that we're not able to worship together at the moment. Some of you may never have been here, your normal place of worship might be the centre or you might be new to St Michael's, but this is our beautiful church building, a place that's been prayed in and worshipped in um, for centuries and a place that's dear to my heart and I'm sure to many of our hearts. But I wonder if you have been coming to church over the last months or years before lockdown that is, whether you've noticed this board here on the right. It's called an Ecclesiastes board and um, if you've noticed it I wonder if you've ever stopped to read what's on there. It's actually easier said than done because the board's been cracked, um, the, the writing's been faded, it's in old English and it's really not been easy to read. In fact somebody described the board as a bit of a spider's trap recently. But I've got some good news to share because a generous donation from a member of the church has enabled us to replace the board. Here it is now um, in, in keeping with the old, a nice old style, but with words that are more legible, that are more understandable. And um, it's called the Ecclesiastes board because as you'll see, the first verse on it is from the book of Ecclesiastes. Guard your steps when you go to the house of God. I should say that the old board's been taken away, it's been repaired as best we can and we're hoping to find a home for it somewhere in the centre. We want to honour the old in the midst of the new. Continuity and change is one of the values that we hold dear here at St Michael's. So I thought this was actually a good opportunity for me to give you an update into where we're at with our plans for refurbishing the church building. You may remember that's been part of our vision of the Heart of the Community project that we've been working with over the last few years. And back in the autumn there was an opportunity for those that wanted to join in to come uh, to some information mornings that we had where we had a chance to share the plans that we've got for installing toilets, um, levelling the flooring, improving the visibility and the seating and the heating and thanks so much to those of you who came and were part of those mornings. And I'm really happy to be able to tell you that we're, uh, we've got some news to report on where we're at with that now. We've been waiting to get approval from the diocese to do one of the things that's necessary before we can go any further. And that's an archaeological dig just to check what is under the ground of the church. We don't think there's anything there that we should know about that would make it difficult for us to proceed with our plans for the flooring, but we need to check it out. So in the next couple of weeks, hopefully, we're going to be having an archaeologist archaeolo come to explore the flooring and um, see what's, what's there. Be digging five little holes and um, Hopefully we'll get the all clear to be able to proceed with the next stages of the building and we'll keep you updated on that as time goes on. So the other thing that we'll of course be keeping you updated is as we just think about what we heard on Monday in terms of the government's plans for the roadmap out of lockdown, what that might mean for us in terms of our worshipping life as a church. Um, we'll be letting you know as we think and pray about that. Do pray for us that we'll make good and wise decisions. But in the meantime, just leave you with this, um, this thought that this is a church that we want to make fit for purpose for generations to come. We've been uh, blessed with the inheritance that our predecessors have passed on to us. And um, here we are uh, taking our place within the life of God's people here in this church, in this community. And I hope it won't be long before I can say uh, with you, as the board tells us, come. Let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker, and you'll be able to come with me into the church. Bye for now.